Welcome back to our fourth episode. I am Nikki and I'm here with Ilona and we are growing, literally growing with Ilona. Yeah. <laughs> so we're week four yes. and we have four or five things that we uh, quickly-ish want to cover. And the first thing that you'll notice if you've been following us is this very nice cage that Alona brought and has put on here. So what, why are we caging? Okay, what is this? so this is called a support cage. Okay. And um, if you're just doing leafy greens and herbs, no need for this cage. But I highly recommend it for plants that need support. So cucumbers, right, that need to maybe go up and be supported and could be dangling down. Peppers, uh, which are down here, so that when it gets heavy, it's not going to fall out of the tower. It's supported. Same with tomatoes, so it can be caged in and be supported in. So I, I, I even have people that grow eggplant, right? So they're making it go up and around. And so that's why we put up the cage today, because we have some plants that will need support. I can grow eggplant? Yes. For real? For real. Oh, yeah. I think she might have told me that before and I just forgot. <laughs> so, oh yes. my God. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it will need support. Otherwise, yeah. it's just going to hang down, right? And inside, if the plants go down, you know, around your room, it will not get light. Therefore, they will not thrive. So, it has to be contained in this area. We just That's it interesting. Out. So, yeah. can we talk about the cucumbers for a second? Yeah. Because they're they're crazy climbers. Yeah. So, do we, as this cucumber's growing, yeah. we'll weave it in and around yeah. and up and, up down, and down and all over? So, we only yeah. have two in the tower? Yes. We only planted two? Yeah. We didn't want to do too many because then the leaves will take up the spot and the light from other plants as well. So, do we um, groom this? Do we ever stop it from growing sometimes, or no, we let it? Yeah, no, you can let it go, but sometimes it's okay to take off a big leaf because the leaf doesn't have any flowers on it, so that's really not needed. Do you normally take a yeah. leaf off? Okay, if it's, okay. if it's too much, you know, you can just okay. trim it back. Okay, yeah. so sharing space. You're living in an apartment. Yes. You have to be considerate of your neighbor. You are right. Okay, okay. So we are week four. Four. So our first week, we just put the tower together. Yes. And then our second week, we planted. So we're in week four. So this is two weeks of growing? Yeah. It, we did, we did put, put little tabs on here, and it says July oh. 9th. So we are at July 29th. 29th. So we're this is 20 days. Good thing that was easy math. <laughs> we're 20 days of growth growing. and yeah. we are going to harvest yes so let's what are we harvesting well we did plant some microgreens these are okay. kale microgreens and this is the size you want to keep them at okay. we don't want them to turn into a big plant this is when it has way more nutrition than the actual tall kale plant that you buy in the store so we want to harvest these and just cut them right back and it will not regrow though the microgreens you just pull out Okay. And then we have to replant again. And you could see how fast it grew. Even last week, I was like, we could probably eat off of that. Okay. So in two weeks, it'll it'll grow again. So we want to plant some new ones after we're done with the show. But we okay. can eat those now. So you just said something, and I, I don't want the listeners to miss it. What did you say about the nutritional value? There's about 40% more nutrition in microgreens than the full-grown plant. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. So That's you can put it into your smoothies, you can put it onto like an egg omelet, you can put it on your tacos, you can add it, you know, to sandwiches. Okay. Yeah. So we have, I think we have uh, four or five? Yeah. Four? Four. Microgreen, um, kale microgreens. Yeah. We're going to completely harvest the Pull plant right now. Yes. Uh, and do we, are we, how do we harvest it? What do we do? Well, what we're going to do... do is, I don't know, I guess I don't want to be in the way, but I'm just going to pull it out with the whole roots. You're pulling the whole look. basket out. Okay, look let's that. look at that. Yeah, so these are the roots that were okay. growing in there. Okay. And I just took it right out because these do not grow back nicely. So I just pop it out and then we're okay. going to re... Yeah, look at these healthy roots. It's beautiful. Yeah, and then there's some that are here. Sometimes I just kind of pull the residue out, but there's not very much left in there. So, Okay. We're not eating the roots, we're eating the, we're eating <laughs> yes. the microgreens. Yes. So for now, you'll just pop that in the yeah. basket and then I'll take it into the kitchen yes. and we'll cut it out of the basket. We toss the 
the, the roots, the, the rock, wall. rock wall. Yes. We save the basket. The basket yeah. gets so reused. So the cool thing is there's no baskets oh, right, up here. Because these are the small herbs. The small herbs. Herb. Okay, so those okay. don't need baskets. And then on the back here, you guys can't see, but we have, I can probably harvest the lettuce too. So let's, right? let's do that. Okay. Because there's definitely lettuce in the back. You guys just can't see it. So I will just pop some off. So there's, actually, I can talk about that for a minute. There's a couple of different ways that you okay. can harvest the lettuce. Okay. You can either cut the whole head. Okay. Right? So you have a full bowl of lettuce. Or you can take pieces off of it, like the big outside pieces, and allow the plant to continue growing. What do you do? I take little pieces because yeah. then you can keep letting it grow. But if you cut it, it'll always grow back. And you can usually harvest it two to three times from the same plant until it gets bitter and then you do have to get rid of it. So even if you snip it all gone, it will still continue yes. to grow? What? Yes. Okay, okay, So how, okay. How, how would you like me to harvest it? Well, I'm... I'm Just take some pieces maybe? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm piecemeal. All right. So you take your bigger leaves, bigger leaves on the and outside. then I make a salad. Yes. That's what we're going to do. And okay. then it'll keep growing back, and that way you always have something to eat because if we chop it right back, you won't have anything to eat, right? Right, we're waiting. Yeah, so this way we don't have to wait. We just take, you know, look, I'll just do a little bit. Yeah, so that is um, some hand-picked lettuce. Lettuce. And, and again, more. it's not it's not a lot. No, there's right definitely now. more I can pick there's for you. Way more. Yeah. So would you, did we plant the right amount of, of lettuce, or would you have planted more? I feel like for so say a family of four. I would have planted more, but you can see the different. This is bib lettuce. It's small. Then we have, oh, we have mini more romaine, okay. which is a little bit bigger. And then the one that I picked is more like a gourmet lettuce. It has many different varieties in it, so they all have different growth stages and they grow differently. So this guy will come soon, and then this guy will come. And message to myself is this is 20 days of growing. Like, I can't expect to have a full yeah. garden to harvest. So we're yeah. still growing. We're, we're still, still growing. growing. Okay, yes. good. Yes. Good, 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 good. So the, um, we have some baskets yes. that did not grow. Yes. And that's um, common? Sometimes, yep. Yeah, the okay. seeds. Sometimes it depends on the seed that you plant in okay. there. Okay. Yep. So we can just, what we'll, we'll do is pull those out and replant again. Well, new rock wool. New rock wool, which we soak first yep. in water. Yeah. Then we pop the seed in, a little bit of vermiculite, and then we can pop it right back in Okay. There. Okay. And um, so we're going to do a replant of the ones that didn't grow. Yes. And then we're also going to replant the uh, kale microgreens. Yes. Yeah. With more kale microgreens. I think so. Okay. Yeah, because they're okay. really, really nutritious and they're so easy. They're not as um, bitter as the big, like the big dark kale I find. Interesting. It's very um, like soft buttery. Like oh, you can even wait. see here, this is regular kale, right? It's kind of dark and thicker leaves. And then you have the microgreens. I find that interesting because the, the leaf seems um, not soft looking because it's got yeah. jagged edges yeah. and it almost seems pokey, but it's not. No. It's so yeah. soft to eat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Very excited. Mm -hmm. Very excited for that. So the reservoir yes. is a uh, almost 50 liters, 49 liters. Yes. We've had this tower running now for um, three weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're only now Having at to. the time that we have to water. So that yeah. is extremely low maintenance. Yeah, 100%. We, okay. we haven't done anything to it, really. No. No. So after we're uh, done live streaming, we're going to, by we, uh, <laughs> Lona <laughs> is going to add water. Yes. Teach me or show me again based on the amount of liters or gallons that we're putting in here, what our nutrients, nutrients are. are going to be. And then yep. we're going to test the water again and make sure that we don't have to go pH up or pH, pH down. down. You got it. Very good student. You're yes. a good teacher. <laughs> okay. And then that is it for maintenance. And then we're going to have to weed as well, which I joke about weeding. This is yes. hilarious. So to that, what do you mean in, in weeding? So what are you going to do? What I'm going to do 
is, hopefully you can still see me, I'm going to reach in here, and this this is this all the weeding we're going to do, okay? Let's get Jason to down. Look, that, that was it. That's it. You reached in. And I grabbed um, the roots from the cucumber that is coming out of here, and that's it. That's all I have to do in three weeks. Yay! <laughs> yeah. win. And it actually smells like cucumber. Oh my that god, smell nice? it smells like yeah. cucumber, you guys. Yes. Okay. And that, that's all the weeding we have to do. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah. And there's still so much water, there is water in yeah. here. 100%. Still water in there. So, so if this was your tower at home, yes. you would probably leave this another week before adding water or no? Mm. No, no I would probably just okay. fill it up and okay. then, then you're good again for another two to three weeks, right? Yeah. Okay. So... Jason, we've I've been doing a little bit of an experiment. I think I said at one of the shows that I had purchased before I had the chance to meet with Alona, I had purchased a tower off of Wayfair and I have a picture of it. So it had a one week head start on planting. That's my tower at home. I've I'm I've taken the picture this morning uh, in the kitchen. It's it's dark. That was a fib. I took this picture last night before I went to bed. So it's about 10.30 last night. You can see my tower has a lot more lettuce growth on it. And I'm only a week ahead of this one. But there's some interesting things in this tower that I actually don't like. And one of the things, so as Ilona says, no maintenance, zero maintenance, funny joke on weeding. I'm not experiencing that in this tower and, and I think I can start to see some of the reasons why I'm experiencing this. So I'm having to replenish the water twice a week. Uh, my reservoir is 10 liters, this is 50 liters. You don't have to be a genius to do that math. Yeah. So you have a bigger reservoir tower, it makes sense. But my tower runs constantly the water's running constantly right. so i think there's a lot more eva evaporation the other thing that i don't like about my tower is this column is is large and i think you've got beautiful spacing in between the plants if you look at my tower mine are like side by side and really um condensed in the spacing yeah. and what i'm finding is uh, I have an enormous amount of root growth inside the column. So my column of my tower is going to be about that big. Mm -hmm. And we can see that yours is two, three times yeah. wider and makes sense that it supports the root growth and the, the air needs flow of and the, everything yeah. going through it, right? It's giving it enough space and um, yeah. airflow to go through there instead of it being all crunched up. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. So you are going to leave me on my own. Yes, I. this is our last show for the summer. Yes. And um, I'm going to be gone for a month, and Nikki's going to be in charge of this, so we'll have to see what it looks like when I get back. She's going to do great, um, because you just saw that we didn't have to do much. I'll teach you what to do today, and then you do it again in two weeks, okay. and then I will pretty much almost be back. You might have to attend to it twice, and that's it in a month. So what do I have to do You're going to fill gone? it up with water. Okay. You're going to check the mineral. Um, yes. Sorry, you're going to add the mineral blend A and B, yep. and then you're going to check the pH. Okay. And then harvest. And harvest. So that's, I'm harvesting. You're in charge of that, yeah. Do, will I have to do, let's talk about actually before you, we end here, yeah. this cucumber yes. will need to be pollinated. You got it. So what am I needing to do this while you're away? Probably. Uh, most likely, yes. Okay. Well, so I'm going to teach you. Okay. Um, so obviously you guys know, or maybe some of you don't, we need bees to pollinate our flowering plants outside. That's why bees are so important. But when we're inside... There are no bees in our house, obviously, or in our, our businesses. So we need to become the bee. And okay. fun fact, um, peppers have flowers, but they're self-pollinating. So we don't have Did to touch them that. at all. Okay, good. They're good, amazing good, good, to grow. Good. They just do their own thing. Okay. But everything else, cucumbers, zucchinis, tomatoes. Cherry tomato. Okay. All of that, when they have flowers, you need to pollinate. Okay. So with cucumbers... And the cool thing is we're always learning with this tower. It's not like, now I know everything, right? Okay. As you start planting, and especially when you get into more advanced stuff like flowering plants, 
I have learned that if you're growing long English cucumbers, yeah, there's female and male flowers. And this can, is not the long English. No, no, okay. But it was so funny when I did okay, that okay. because it took over a whole tower. It looked beautiful. All the female, all, all the males showed up, and they were just waiting for the females, and the females never showed up. So they all shriveled up and died. And I was like, I don't like this. This was a lot of work. Yeah. So I had about three females that showed up and I was doing a happy dance. And I did the cross pollinating from the, the male to the female plant okay. with a little paintbrush. Male to you the go female. from one okay. to the other. Okay. And then the little baby cucumber starts growing. Okay. So I was really excited for these yeah. three cucumbers, but it took a lot of work and I wasn't yeah. happy with that. Um, so I ended up finding one, which is this guy. It's only female flowers. And okay. it's the little mini me cukes from West Coast Seeds. Okay. So those small little ones you can buy. Yeah. And you still need to pollinate, but you're not waiting on the females versus male ratio. It's just female plants. Okay. And you're just pollinating. You're just kind of from one flower from to one the flower, other. And it will, Fascinating. it will grow. So I need to water, <laughs> nutrient, pH, pH balance, and I have to harvest, and then I have to pollinate. You May got it. Force you with me, Luke. It. Okay, I it. can do this. I can yeah. totally do this. And then for tomatoes, um, they're just tiny little flowers. Usually a fan will do it. If you mm. stick a fan nearby, or I just kind of flick the little, the little yellow flowers. Hmm. Yeah. Will I have to do that while you're away? Uh, probably. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. So okay. you have two to look after, okay. really. The rest okay, I can do this. are easy. Yes. Okay. So I prediction when you come back, what are you going to see when you're back in four weeks? I feel... Assu I'm going to keep it all alive. <laughs> if I'm she keeps do it this. alive, yeah, yeah. we will probably have cucumbers. We will okay. probably be not quite close on peppers. They take a little bit of time. Okay. Same with tomatoes, but yeah. it's going to be a lot bigger. And okay. you probably will have flowers already that you okay, will be pollinating. Okay. And everything else will be bigger. The basil plant will grow nice and big and you can continuously eat off of it. So you okay. can trim it. Okay. And then the lettuce, you might want to in two weeks maybe plant some more lettuce so that you're okay. stagger planting. Okay. So that you can harvest again when you dispose of the older one. Got it. Yeah. So I think I'm it'll excited. be really full and really nice. And I'll be excited to be back to chat with you. So I think you have been an incredible teacher and I will not let you down. I will do good. <laughs> yes. Uh, and we look forward to having you back on again um, in, September. in yeah, fall. Yeah. So you're back. I have the growing stick. I am yeah. going to okay. continue this journey. And um, if you are interested in owning your own tower, I do want you to reach out to Alona. The form is on the on the site on all the videos. I think they're incredible gifts to give to family members yes. when we're talking food security and and good healthy eating and yep. um, and it's been an, an enormous amount of fun. So thank you, Alona. Thank Have you. a wonderful trip. Thank you. Be safe. Yes. And hurry back to help me <laughs> help me with the tower. You're gonna do great. <laughs> thank you.